beginning of the term and I and my friends came back from home like as usual and our provisions were much so we decided to share it into two we just had two lockers then so we decided to put our provision inside a very big garden must go like half of it the dream inside those two lockers <laughs> guys welcome back to my youtube channel it's a girl shelly c here and i'm back with another amazing story time video yeah sorry for the breaking transmission i've been okay i've been busy i've been lazy i've been just i don't know i've just been so lazy actually and guess what guys i made my wig myself i got the hair from hair tastic i'm going to drop the link the description box below but i made it by myself learn a handwork this has strike learn <laughs> learn and have and handwork a handwork anyone shall go and learn something because we don't make this feature of this nigeria is going to anyways today's video will just be about um story time my budding house experience i'm very sure most people i know and mm, not really most but most of us attended boarding school either private federal state or whatever, whatever so my very first day in school it was my mom that dropped me off at school and my sister was in that school yeah she was already there as a student my mom dropped me off so i was to go and check in like do some checking in and all that stuff so that's when i went to unfortunately fortunately, fortunately yeah fortunately i and my sister were in the same house like he was in the same house so i just had to go and meet her so she took me to where i'm going to like do the checking where they're going to check me and other stuff and like that like that like that that's zao and i went there the woman was like who are you so my sister introduced me to our house mistress then she's like oh your sister like you so it was really like she didn't really check me like check me check me check me as far my sister was at the day now she gave me this kind of okay i know you calm down so i got this normal all student checking in. I felt I didn't feel like I was new. Okay, I had the sense of a new environment in go. I didn't really feel like I was new. Chicken. Because they didn't treat me the way they train. Hey, Jesus. I must survive. They didn't treat me the way they treated other new students. Like, but it's okay. So that's if I didn't knew the basic things. Bring this up, bring that up, bring this up. Because my sister was there, so it was kind of easy for me and everything. When I entered inside the hostel, oh my, it was not what I envisioned it was. So I come and say, I was cool still. I was cool still, it's so fine from the outside. I will not forget to put that. Like, I was going to say, it's so fine from the outside. Like, it's very beautiful. When, especially when you're on the field, that view from the field, guy, is nice. But enter inside. It's actually nice inside. I should be honest. Like, it's actually nice inside. But the fact that we were so much that we were there. It looked so messy. Hmm, the very first thing that greeted me as I entered the hostel. Oh God. Oh my is that I've seen oh it was so funny. I actually so don't let me say it like you know it was just ladies alone. Not ladies school, it's a mixed school, but it was still just ladies alone. So I saw a lady, she was going to bed, but she was not anything. The man was like, What kind of stupid question is that? I asked that question again to anybody. I come to school, you have not seen anything. I was like, Excuse me, you say what? Oh, God. it was not funny at all. It's not really funny at all. But when I entered the hostel, I said, Oh, you're beautiful. I was still a small girl then. I was just like, Thank you, thank you. I was a fine girl then. I was very, very busy. Now, hey! I already grew stress. Everything, everything. Nobody wanted to touch me. As far I was just like a new girl. The people they were sitting like babies. And no even had used to walk. I thought to just sleep, wake up in the morning, go to class, come back, everything. You know everything she just let your disposal. It's not like I really envisioned it like that, but I didn't envision it with that kind of stress from her. That particular night I couldn't sleep. I was just staring at the ceiling through almost throughout the whole night. So it's probably around that four AM I slept. Yeah, so I was just staring at the ceiling throughout the whole night because this kind of I was actually excited when the boarding school. So when like, so you go to boarding school, you want to go, you would cry. Yeah, I did not cry, yo. He said I was smiling, I was waving at my mom and my dad. Bye bye, they should be going. I think it was with my mom. I cannot remember. 
it's not cry you but i was just so excited because anytime he's not coming back he's always coming back with gist from school and i was like i want to go to this house i want to go to the boarding house finally i went to the boarding house so i was really excited at that like so the that the next day was on a monday i went to school did i go to school first we had assembly guy jesus we stood in the, our assembly was long I don't know what, I don't actually, I know I was new, so I didn't really know what they were saying. But the assembly was just so long. I was just like, what is this assembly? We don't, they didn't sing praise and worship. I was like, I was kind of confused, you know, when you go to a place where something is not being done as you knew how it's being done. I was just so confused that there's no praise and worship, pinko, pinko, just go straight to everything. And I was like, anyway, it was actually kind of fun and everything. And I went to my class. Then I met my classmate and everything. I went back. My first day in the dining room. Oh, Jesus Christ. Hmm. Now I know my parents give provision and everything. The Lord is our strength. If you are watching this video and you are seeing the body now, don't worry. Enjoy it. It's actually nice, actually sweet. But my first day in the dining room. Who did they even serve that day? I think what they served was. They served a bar that day with they would see. See, there's something that my friends call it. We call it Eban Exos. Because this egg doesn't break exactly at all. At all. <laughs> like, Jesus, who's this? I took the picture and I was like, you know, I was still a new student. I was still fresh. I still had money and everything. I'm like, I'm not eating. Hmm. My son was not with me. But I was my friend. I was like, I'm not eating. They're like, are you sure? I'm like, I'm not eating. I'm not eating. I just dropped because I was like, what is this? I just dropped and I left. You see the meat? The meat is like this. The size, I'm very sure it is bigger than the safe. So small. Like, we paid for the house fee. Guy, excuse me. Oh, I didn't even tell you people. The name of my school is Federal Science and Technical College, Yaba, Lagos. So, FSC, right? Like, we paid for food. And see what these people are giving us. So, I just went out of the dining and went to go and get something else to eat. So, when I got inside the house, I took my provision. So, that when I started, came back, she was like, Okay, what's up? Oh, I was yeah, I was staying with my sister. They put us in the same corner, like the same space. I was staying with my sister. Like it was just like everything was at my disposal. As of that first week, cool. I learned about the first week. So I asked my sister that I didn't eat. She was like, hmm, okay, don't worry. By the time you enter to the week, you understand what I'm saying. You be are doing big deal. She's like, that food is too small. The yeah, is even looking so much. They do not do the yeah, very well. She's like she said she's not the same thing so literally our profession is not together our money was not together so she didn't care i started doing care she said when you learn you understand what i'm trying to say so that's aside everything everything then on the particular sunday morning i woke up wanting to go to church i dressed up and everything then no it was sunday what happened was i think a thursday our house mistress came inside the hostel then she sent some people to another hall like another part of the hostel to stay. Most of them were seniors. And unfortunately for me, I still was part of it. So that's towards the I must go separated. Like we are not in the same bed space and everything. So that then it begins to know me that okay, we are in school. Like we are in school. You have to take care of yourself. No, it's not like I couldn't go to her room, but you know now it's not gonna be as before where yeah, I come to school. Come back from school, my sister's ready around and everything. Just sit down, talk. so I took her to the other hall and everything. So I was left alone. But that Friday, I took some of my things to our hall because I could not sleep inside our house because it's wicked, wicked people that did not let me with people that from the start they did not like. Like, what the hell will you separate me for people that? So I went to the shower, I went to stay. So I went to shower to stay with my sister and everything. So on that particular Sunday morning, we were preparing for church. So I dressed up and I was about to go. I just saw someone's like, the um house captain is calling me. It's like, why is she calling me? What, 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 what do we have in common? I don't think I'm with her. But my sister was like, don't be rude. Because I was a very rude and sarcastic girl back then. So she was like, don't be rude. So when I went to go and meet the hostel captain, she was not like, I was to wash toilets that day. Ha! Hey! As of then, I had not started washing toilets in my father's house. 
yes okay like she said i wash toilet toilet that everybody used to use i've never used the toilet before i usually use the one in school the one in school always seems cleaner than the one around that side so i've never used it before so i was like eh so i went to go and meet the house captain and i was like i cannot wash this shit. I, I should do it that it's not something that is hard when i entered the toilet oh blood of jesus this is nothing to write home about like just even the bathroom to put the toilet and ask me to wash the toilet water was <laughs> like water was so f- it was filled with water like the water was not moving I don't know. I was like, sorry, please excuse me. The water is not moving. She's like, eh, I should look for something to unblock that place. Like me. Tapala, why are you stressing my life for Christ's sake? So like that was the beginning of my work experience in the school. So since then, I name always a place in Rista, that much toilet, um, um, washing bedroom, like one of those two. My name usually appears there. So that's it all. Then. In our SS, when SS1, we are to dance calisthenics. Let me go to some of the interesting parts. It's a house sport. That calisthenics was one of the things I will never forget. Our teacher was really nice. Like, I, hey, pom pom to the air. That, I didn't even know how to dance then. So it was really kind of bad. Yeah, now I'm trying. I'm better. Thanks to the Almighty God. All of that is to insult me. It's you, 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 you. Hi, I'm Ghana. We have very good dancer. Anyway, so the calisthenics was really fun and everything. Though we had so much, but calisthenics was nice and everything. Either sport was really cool. And I was in a house that never got last. Yeah, Ninja girls were the best. Ninja girls were absolutely the best. Anytime, anywhere, we brag about my house. Anyways, so when the hinter sport was nice. Then says two, we had to do much pass. Yeah, but I didn't do. Did I even do that? Says two. Okay, I didn't do because I participated in a competition like I ran. I was the athletic first. I was the first like for relay racers. I was in the school team and I was just like, we really go out for competition. Our competition time we always are amazing. So times we go come back later. We go we meet other people from other schools. So it's really nice. Where we go, we go with this pride in us. Like this children have this. This ego in them that only the best is good enough. Like it was really amazing. Anytime we go, we see that time our rivals were QC girls, Queen's College girls, Lagos. Hmm. This one they always like to come and show off anytime of competition. So we literally used to go for competition to show them that you can't believe to us. We are the best anytime. And most of the time, anytime we go for those races competition, we always come first, second. Like we hardly come out toward first second first second so it was like we had this pride in us like so that's business so like one of the things i would never miss i would like i would miss so much in school was the um inter house sport and like the sports team the sports team so i miss the sports team those people were like a family to me i really miss them then my house mistress because my house mistress was loving before they changed her that's before she left Nigeria. She was so loving. Like, I remember those days that she would just call us to help her to do some marking. And at the end of the day, she would cook rice for us. Rice and pepper soup. Stew. Like, it was nice. Oh, I can never forget it. Like, it was really, really amazing. So, because of the love she had for us, we had this kind of serious in the hostel. Like, not like, I was not a bully, but if you pass my boundary, that's when me, I'll answer you. Me, I was not a bully. But we had these things, the house mistress really knew us and we were kind of close. We used to do some things that we were not meant to do, literally. So, we just, I missed her all those times. We go to her house, cook spaghetti, sometimes we take care of our children. I mean, it was really nice. Until they changed her house mistress to one woman like this, I never even know. That was, she was always attacking me. She was actually my physics teacher first, before she came to my house mistress. So, she knew me. And it's not like as if she knew me like that too, in class. I was not the fine. I used to make noise in class. I accept that fact. I talk too much. But it's not like as if I used to talk about class. I've never been called out like singled singled out in her class before. But I don't know why she was after my life. Then unfortunately for me, um, there's my classmates that were in that hall. They made us. They made her our uh, home mistress. God. 
این تنشین تاشی موس کمای میم و و و و شالام این آش و زیبا و منش تو زاوت نگیلوت با ما اکسپریانت وین They stole our provision. So this is what happened. So just the beginning of the term, and I and my friends came back from home. Like as usual, and our provisions were much. So we decided to share it into two. We just had two lockers then. So we decided to put our provision inside a very big garden must go, like half of it. The drain inside those two lockers. And now there was this particular friend of mine that had ulcer. So she brought like quite a lot because of her condition thing. I also had ulcer when I was in school, but has. I wouldn't say mine was chronic, but she brought like um, like it was you know this bigger side of Ghana must go. It almost filled the room like the provision, like it was really. Then one particular day we came back from school, and the first it was me, yeah. Okay, I was not the first person to come back. Sumba came back first. Sumba is a friend of mine. So I came back and I found the liquid soap in which we brought. It was on the floor on the staircase, and I was like, wait, it is not our liquid soap. So I picked it up and I took it to the corner and I was like, you guys, this is not how the kids are going to be like, yes. They're like, wait, how did the liquid soap get to these tears? Something we've not used before. And just inside that Ghana must go. What we did was we had to go and look for the Ghana must go. Hey, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. They did not leave even one thing that is inside that Ghana. They did not leave it. They took every single thing. Like, do you know? If it was just my permission that was stolen, I would be like, okay, fine, okay, no problem, okay, all right. I see how my friends depend on for many times till this thing day, but you stole how many people's permission? I think we're safe. I, Sumbo, Taiwo, Zina, Christabel, Toby. Yeah, we're six. They stole six people's permission. It was God. I don't know what to do. Was to look there? I'm not sure though. I remember there is super cloud on top of the bed. She started shouting. The person that stole it. She was just talking. Taiwo was angry. Taiwo called Lash Junior. No, it was Taiwo's permission that was more. Like if I was also the one I would have cried though. Seriously, I would have cried. Taiwo called Lash Junior. She was like, if you guys do not find the permission, like, after everything, we did not see find it. Then up to and the watch the Zina was not in our room. She was in another house. We had we had like um four houses. We had Ninja, Benue, Ogun, and Ethiopia. I was in Ninja. The rest of us were in Ninja. Only Zina was in Ethiopia and everything. So it was really she was devastated. Everybody we all devastated. Then we had to tell our house mistress about it. And she was like, ah, that if she should call a meeting and tell everybody to contribute about it, contribute for us. It look like she's being partial because she knows us and we are kind of close. Because a lot of people have been complaining about stolen provision and all that, and she's not really doing anything. She just needs to address the matter and everything. So she just put like contribute for someone. It was really annoying. Like it was really annoying. I remember our outing. Dang, let me tell you guys what secret that nobody knew. We used to sneak out of school. Ah, me, I snuck out of school. Yee. There's this nickname my friends gave me. They gave me Stoner. Why? Because. I used to go out of school to get things without being noticed. Like nobody would know. Then I'll come back inside. They always thought I was because people used to live in our school apart from them. They always thought I was one of these staff children. So I got there because I was in sports, I would always in my jersey, my joggers and my um chase there. So I would just use that joggers and chase there to go out. Ah, uh, because I did not know. Ah, Jesus. Please call me stone now because actually when I when we are resuming like this. If you bring contraband, like things that you are not meant to take with it's me, they give it to Because you, even if you search me in Toto, you can never find anything. Like, I had this stupid character of I could smuggle anything inside school then. But it depends on you. You need to pass my boundary. Dude, that was the nickname my friends gave me stone at then. So I remember those days, we just leave school. Sumbo's house was not that far. Go to Sumbo's house. There was a day, there was a time when Sumbo's house used to feel like a baby. Guy, this is really amazing. And I have one who is now, I want me to carry a position like she accepted us, she accommodated doors, everything. So, only our own parents that did not know. Those, some, some, me, my own mom did not know. I know not about that, but me, my own mom did not know about it because my mom knew she would kill me. There's no, I don't cap about it. She's going to kill me. So, that was that. Then I can also remember the outing we had. 
our uh, SS3, when we went to... There was a time we went, we went to Domino's a particular time. Yes, there was this election period that every every other person went to, except some SS3s. Like, we just few, very, very few. That was the time I entered boys' hostel for the second time, though. That was even the time that I can remember all those boys, they entered the summer hostel. I don't know what they were looking for. I Clinton, I saw Clinton and the rest, Sha. Like those days were really amazing. You could sit down in the morning. The food was nice. I think it's because we're so much so cooking in large quantity was kind of hard for those um cooks, for those kitchen women. So because then the food were actually nice and it was much that was ah since I've seen it in school food since oh now it's so fun with that day. So it was really nice and everything. Everything like was is actually fun actually fun then like you just do whatever you like we we won't put no moves it's something that on a normal school day they won't allow us to put on moves and everything like when the school is actually fun it is actually nice like what's the game then i had a very amazing guy that mr fuller hmm this one was a bachelor that was his first child like i really missed him so so much he you know when you have someone that has kind of vibes, there was this vibe that used to flow. We just call him Safola, this, this, this. But like, okay, sometimes even I want to just come and say, we used to do it together. I would not like We used to do it together and every time. So it was really amazing being a student within the house. Like, it really taught me a lot of things, literally. Like, it was amazing. Okay, so we've come to the end of today's video. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click like button comment down below your own experience even if it's not in a boarding house like in normal school comment down your experience and everything just let us know if you enjoyed the video the part you enjoyed like was there a bad child was there a good child i was actually a good child i remember the day i flogged the junior it was not that much i'm a good person i need to be plenty plenty yes i was one of the good seniors Anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it so much. Thank you. I love you guys so much. Don't forget, if you've not subscribed, do well to click the subscribe button. 